When it comes to healing in Terraria, you're left with very few options. Do you stack passive regen, use scarce life-stealing weapons, or just consume the largest potions you can find? And for the longest of time, I assumed this was as deep as it got. Well, as it turns out, thanks to the 1.4.4 update, a pre-existing item received a complete overhaul, introducing a whole new layer to the healing mechanic I had absolutely no idea about. Seriously, if it wasn't for this legend leaving a comment in one of my videos, I would have never revisited this previously forgettable item. Of course I'm talking about the Strange Brew. The Strange Brew is possibly one of the most unique items in the game, as despite being obtainable from the get-go, offers something that even the highest tier of potions don't. Before we delve into this though, if you enjoy these kind of vids, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, as it truly helps out the channel. Right, let's take a look. So, off the bat, I think the main reason I easily missed this overhaul is the fact it's purchased from the Skeleton Merchant, which, 9 times out of 10, is just a nuisance I drop into the depths of hell while farming. No, seriously. Saying that, getting one to spawn when you actually need it can be inconsistent. So while you can just rely on bumping into one in your cavern layer on your travels, like most things, by just increasing the total amount of spawns per minute with a farm, you can get them showing up frequently. In my standard underground hallowed farm, I see them all the time, and in my hardcore banner farm, they appear less than a minute apart from each other. However, if only obtaining the brew was this simple, as similar to other NPCs but on a far more extreme level, the skeleton merchant stock is heavily manipulated by the moon phase, meaning we can only purchase the strange brew during certain lunar patterns. And well, just like the real world, this can't really be controlled and will just be a waiting game. For the strange brew to be sold, you'll require it to be either a full moon, third quarter, new moon or first quarter. Assuming you manage to find your skeleton merchant during the correct moon phase, which you can check using a sextant, you can finally purchase that strange brew for 5 silver a pop. Okay, let's take a look at what makes it so special. So at this point, you may be a little overwhelmed by the item's tooltip, as it lists quite a bit more than just your regular potions. But it's actually dead simple, basically just randomising its healing effect, sickness duration, and damage and vulnerability when drank. On paper, this doesn't sound like much of a big deal, but in practice, the reduced potion sickness between heals is seriously nice to have. Additionally, the amount healed varies between 70 and 120 HP, placing it somewhere along the lines of the regular healing potion, which even in the worst case scenario, isn't that bad in pre-hard mode. Also, another weird added feature of the Strange Brew is its ability to provide iframes when consumed, ranging from 0 to 4 seconds at random. Now, I know what you're thinking, so what? Yes, it can heal you for quite average amounts with a couple of seconds taken off between heals, but other than that, what's the big deal? Well, luckily, there is one lovely accessory that synergizes incredibly well with this potion. Yes, the Philosopher's Stone. For those of you who don't know, the Philosopher's Stone is a hard mode accessory that has a 14.29% chance of dropping from Mimics, which ironically can be farmed very easily using the same ways I showed earlier. When equipped, the stone will reduce your potion cooldown by an additional 25%, and of course stacks with a strange brew's chance of reduction. This means that in a best case scenario, your time between heals will be as short as 30 seconds, half of a regular healing pot. And yet, while this may not sound like much, on for the worthy or even master mode playthroughs, having the ability to heal so frequently is really nice to have and can significantly increase your survivability. The strange brew is an odd one, it'll very much depend on your playthrough type and playstyle to the determine if it's worth your time or not. Either way, I'm happy such item exists and genuinely wonder how many players like me didn't even realise it was changed. I'd love to hear if you knew about this overhaul before, and if not, are you going to give it a try? This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.